Hi, I'm Gregory Pope. I'll be your first contact and arrange everything for you when you come to Mexico for your surgery. Today is July the 8th, 2024. We're here to pick up Danielle and her daughter, Cassie, which is a nurse. She's gonna have two cervical disc replacements and a cage put in with Dr. Mario Simone, MD, FACS, Fellow of the American College of Surgeons. Next, you will see us at the hospital meeting Dr. Simone, and thank you very much for watching the video. Hello, Hello how are you? Fine, and you? Good, thank you. And it's this a pleasure. is her daughter, Cassie. Oh. Hi. Hello. Okay, let's go to do the paperwork. Let's get you signed in. All right. yeah. So, I'm going to uh, tell you something about surgery. Okay. We're going to put you in a uh, rosier position, mm -hmm. which we use uh, some kind of uh, cushion uh, underneath your shoulders. And you're going to be like this, okay? okay. We're going to stand your neck a little bit. Mm -hmm. All that we do, we do it with x-rays in uh, real time. Oh, okay? okay, perfect. To check perfectly the site yeah. that we are in the correct uh, position and to put some pins there and to put the prosthesis and cage and everything, okay? okay. We do it under X-ray control. Uh, usually, we try to do a transfer incision in the neck mm -hmm. using a normal fold in your yes. skin, so it will vanish with time. Okay, Same. that's for uh, aesthetic purposes. Mm -hmm. uh, we have done three levels with just one little incision transverse. Just hopefully, one. hopefully, we can do it. We're going to try to do okay. that. We never use a vertical incision mm -hmm. because aesthetically it's terrible. We never use that. Okay. We ra rather use two yeah. incisions mm -hmm. in order to gain space to get there. Okay. But we're going to try first with only one incision. Okay? okay? Excellent. I'm going to come here and tell you that everything okay. was fine. Okay? Excellent. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You're welcome. See you. See you. You're going to be just fine. Okay. I'm going to miss you, Mom. All right. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Here I am again, making a house call at San Miguel de Allende, Mexico, for our last patient from Canada, Daniel Thivierge, who had three-level spinal disease uh, between C3-4, C4-5, and C5-C6. She, had, uh, she has been complaining of a lot of pain in the neck and the shoulders and arms for a long time, and she couldn't get help, I mean surgical help, there in Canada. Don't know why, but she came to us and we did the surgery for three levels with only one incision, a transfer incision, two inches, two inches and a half, about that. And we could put uh, between C3, C4, and C5, C6, we put a prosthesis, a rotario prosthesis. And between those two levels, C4, C5, we put a cage with a bone matrix in order to get a fusion and then in the level over and below the fusion had a prosthesis so we could give her a long life uh, cervical spine. Uh, now she's feeling very, very, very well, I think, she said so. Uh, she has no more pain, some tingling in the, in the hands, but that will go away as we decompress uh, very widely all the segments. And now she's happy and ready to fly back home. And this is another case from Spinal Surgery Mexico. You can find us in the internet at spinalsurgerymexico.com and we will, be, we will be very pleased to help you if we can. Thank you so much. It's much better. It looks great. Mm -hmm. It's fantastic. Awesome. Nice and clean. Oh, this. wow. That looks incredible. You can barely see it. That's amazing. And Good it's job. only been eight days? Eight, nine days. Way to go, dog. Wow. <laughs> Not only made me feel it better, but... Be it looks better in real life than in the picture, yeah. really. So tell me. Mm -hmm. Oh, the complaints. <laughs> the complaints? I really don't have any. Oh, really? Um, my full experience has been amazing. Oh, darling. Uh, right from the beginning to um, being taken in for anesthesia. Your anesthetist. Oh, yeah. He's amazing. He's amazing. Um, you know, I couldn't have been more comfortable through the whole thing. 
Wow. Wow. That feels my heart, really. Really, I can tell because I can comprehend perfectly what kind of experience you're living. Mm -hmm. In your case, for example, as all patients from Spinal Surgery in Mexico, just coming to Mexico and you come here and you have this kind of experience and you can go back home mm -hmm. cured. It's, yeah, I, absolutely, you hit the nail on the head, you know. It's like you pay up front and you don't know where that money is going. And we don't know if you're going to meet us at the airport, but then you have a lovely driver come and pick us up and make us feel comfortable right from the beginning. And, uh, you know, Greg meeting us there and welcoming us into his home. And, you know, it's, it's just wonderful. And your arms? My arms are doing wonderful. Um, I have had some tingling, some numbing, mm -hmm. um, but I have found over the last couple of days, uh, I've gone on one and two hour walks, which I haven't done in years wow, because of the pain that I've been in. Um, I've had no, no issues, like a little bit of tingling here and there, and then it quickly subsides again. So okay. I'm not too worried about it anymore. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. What about your shoulders? You have a lot of pain in your shoulders. Yes, stiffness um, that's coming along really great with the physio. Okay. Um, I think the advantage of having the physio twice a day versus, you know, once every, mm -hmm. every two or three days like we would yeah. get in Canada is amazing. It's, you know, it, my thing is I've always had my shoulders up here because I've been protecting mm -hmm. everything. And, uh, yeah, as you can see, they're already starting yeah. to drop and um, I feel stronger already. Okay, I know I have a long good. ways to go. Yeah, of course. But uh, but now you can have your husband to massage you and yes. give you uh, some hot pads there and some massage in the muscles. Yes. And he can do it uh, everyday basis, mm -hmm. you know. Yes, of course. <laughs> I'm gonna prescribe that. <laughs> Gotta take advantage of it, well, like Henry. Right? <laughs> yeah, of course, of course. Well, that's great. I think you're ready to go back home. Oh, that's wonderful. I appreciate all of you so so much fernanda greg Thank you know you. bernardo behind the camera all of you so much i just i can't say enough for you guys what can i say we we just love what we do yeah you're my family now for life thank you hi i'm gregory pope with spinalsurgerymexico.com i'm your first contact i'll be the first the person that gathers all the information for dr simone the drawings that you do in the form, the original form on the page, the MRI, the x-rays, and when I get all those together, I will submit those to Dr. Simone and he will make a diagnosis on what he thinks he can do to help you. And then I'll set up a phone consult so the two of you can talk. And if you like what he has to say, then you can ask him to prepare a quote for you and we'll see if we can't get together Surgery time is definitely not something that you have to wait on like you do in Canada. So don't worry about that part of it. But today I'm with Danielle. It's July the 18th. And tomorrow she leaves to go back to Canada. But right now I'd like to introduce you to Daniela and let her tell you, you her story and from her own words on her experience here in Mexico. So thank you for watching the video. Hi, my name is Danielle and I'm from Ontario, Canada. I found Greg after years of trying to live through pain and find a solution in Canada, which I was unable to do. So my daughter Cassandra found Dr. Salman on spinal surgery in Mexico and she immediately looked at his vast uh, resume. It's one of the most impressive resumes she has ever seen anywhere. She loved the fact that he was a neurosurgeon because we had consulted in Canada with an orthopedic surgeon and we're, we were immediately told that he couldn't differentiate my neurological symptoms from my concussion symptoms. 
So then having a neurologist was a, a more appropriate fit for me. It's one thing to have a great surgeon, but if he releases you the next day and says, I'll see you in three weeks and you struggle in that three weeks, you don't know if something's normal or if it's not normal and you can't get an appointment for two weeks. It makes it very difficult. I had a situation where we were getting very, very nervous and he was only a phone call away and he made a special house call to come to see me. They're, the doctors here are amazing. The nurses are fantastic. The hospital is first class. They gave me a suite. There was room for my daughter to stay. Actually, my husband ended up canceling his hotel room because my daughter was leaving in the middle of the night and I wasn't allowed to be left alone. So he slept on the lounge chair and she slept on the day bed and it was it was perfect. My stay in Casa Marino was fantastic. It was like I was welcomed home, but a much more luxurious home than I am accustomed to being in. It's absolutely beautiful from floor to ceiling, um, impeccably decorated, has a beautiful uh, terrace that you can sit on, wonderful space for post operation um, where um, there's two separate beds, a nice recliner that um, I pretty much lived in for the first few days that I was here because I couldn't get comfortable in bed. It's the meals, uh, the girls that work here, Felisa, uh, Hilaria, the meals are top notch. They're fantastic and so wholesome. They're just beautiful ladies. And, um, you know, I, I can't say enough about them. They're, they're just incredible. Um, they've made us feel at home and, um, they've certainly become part of our family as well. I think anybody who comes here will not only have, um, their surgical dreams come true, but they will also, um, they'll feel very at home and they will have an experience that they probably wouldn't have otherwise been able to have. This is certainly a place that I never dreamed of coming. I never knew about this little place called San Miguel and it's, it's incredible, absolutely incredible. And yes, I would definitely recommend spinal surgery in Mexico.